Hey guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create this cool looking facade elements and they're going to be created as wall sweeps and we're going to be modeling a custom wall sweep for that. But before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. Okay, so let's get started. Here I am in Revit and this is just a project that I'm doing for school and if I zoom in over here to the facade you can see it kind of has these elements protruding all the way around windows and they're kind of indent where the windows are and maybe if I rotate this a bit you can see here we have some nice facade elements and it has a nice pattern like this and then when you kind of look inside you can create these kind of places over here and kind of sort of start creating a new pattern within this pattern on the facade and it's just a cool way to make an interesting looking facade. So to create this I'm just going to start a new project so I'm just going to go to here to file new project and I'm just going to choose architectural template for this and let's just create a one a wall so let's go with 300 generic and let's place it like that and let's go into 3d and let's just go into south elevation and add some more of these levels so I'm just going to select one level and go CS for create similar or you can use just LL for level and let's make the offset let's actually change this to oops let's delete this one yeah let's change this to 350 and then let's go create similar offset and do the same thing and kinda go like that so this will be enough for this project then we can attach this to the top so this now goes to level 5, 6 level 6 okay and we're going to be creating our facade over here so to create this facade you need to create a wall sweep and if I go here into wall and find sweeps you can see we can place one horizontally or one vertically and sweep basically means some geometry that's going vertically or horizontally basically it has to be straight along the facade and a wall reveal if you go over here that means it's kinda cutting into the wall and it can also go both vertical and horizontal but for this project we need a wall sweep but if we go here into wall sweep we don't really have some profiles if we search here for a profile you can see we have this def default and we have some c-shape profile that's not really what we're looking for so we need to create a custom one and it needs to be fitting over here horizontally and vertically so for that we need to create a custom family so I'm just going to go here to new family and I'm just going to drop back a folder and go into metric and search here just for a default default profile so metric profile and you have here a reveal profile somewhere or no profile million yeah he here you have metric profile reveal but we don't have a metric profile for our sweep but that's okay we're just going to go with a default metric profile and here we're just going to create a profile on this side so just go line and I'm going to place one line like so one line here and one line here and for this distance I'm just going to type in here 700 for this over here I'm just going to go 700 as well and this should be 1400 okay so we have these kind of lines over here so just go create a line and then start from here to here to here and once you have this you can go create line and then do an offset of 100 or maybe let's do 80 make it a bit thinner and kind of create an offset like this then you go create line and you place a line like so then you just go into trim and extend and you trim and extend this and then you trim and extend this then you go into split element SL is the shortcut and then you trim and extend this here and this here as well then you select all of these and you just delete them okay so we have our wall sweep and we just go load into project 
the project one is what we're going to be loading it in and let's place it over here so I'm just going to go here to 3d and it's nice that we can see our elevations here in Revit 2019 so make sure to download it and if you don't know how link in the description will show you how there's a tutorial so just go wall sweep and then we can go here into edit and for profile we can choose profile one or family one and here we have our sweep so let's just place one like so and then go here into wall sweep and place one horizontally like this as well so once we have this I can go here into south elevation so just search for south elevation and now I can just use the align tool to kind of align this profile and if that doesn't work you can just always use the move tool to place it like so and then just go copy and copy it down select multiple so copy one here one there and now let's just measure the distance and the distance is the distance between these two levels which is 3500 millimeters or 3.5 meters and let's change this to meters anyway I hate working in millimeters so just go meters and let's just copy this one around as well so just go copy and then you can go here uncheck constrain select it and go 3.5 3.5 and do the same thing yes I know you can use an array but that kind of constrains everything and we want to edit this later on okay so we have this right now so now let's create a pattern so let's say I want to create this kind of a hole over here and maybe a square over here so what you need to do is you need to select this kind of move it out of the way here then I need to select this line and go copy and kind of copy this over here and if that don't, doesn't work you can always make it a bit shorter and then you can copy it it's kind of hard working with these with these sweeps because they always want to be on walls so let's edit this place it like that and place this like this over here so you kind of have this shape over here and let's make a square over here so let's just change this to that select it copy it unconstrained place it over here and then you can always extend it like so and then over here same thing so let's start from this side kind of place it there and let's copy this upward so like that and place it over here so we kind of have some pattern going on on this facade and if we go into 3d it looks like this it looks quite cool I like it and then you can turn on the shadows and everything will look even better with shadows you can see we have these little shadows adding in and now let's add the windows so just go window let's choose the biggest one but as you can see it's still too small for this so we can go here into edit type and we can change it so the height is let's type 1.9 and for the width let's do 1.9 as well go apply okay and now you can see it kind of fits in over there and then you can just copy these windows around maybe place it over here kind of like that and then you can place them all the way around your facade and one more thing that we can do is we can actually add the material to this so if I just go here and select this and go into or let me just render this for a second to show you what I'm talking about so if I go into render render as draft wait for a second you can see everything is gray and ugly and let's try to make it white so you can just select this wall go into edit the type go into edit material by category edit and now let's just find the default material and when you choose the default I probably misspelled this yeah default you can actually change this color to white and here as well so when a material when a wall doesn't have a material or any element in Revit doesn't have the material it chooses the default material so now even though these sweeps don't have a material we can either edit the material over here 
or we can just leave it at nothing and it will automatically go to default that we set to white right now. So if I go here, double R, render, and try it out, you can see it should have been white. Wait a second. Okay, the appearance was left at this. Yeah, go apply. Okay, okay, apply. Okay, and let's try again now. Render. And there you go. We have our white amazing facade. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future tutorials, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.